3.25 p.m. Central Time on the other coast. The 49ers at the Seahawks. The Seahawks are three-and-a-half-point underdogs at home. Total of 45-and-a-half. Uh, the 49ers, four-and-one against the spread in their last five games. The Seahawks do not look like the same team, and Russell Wilson doesn't look like the same quarterback. Uh, I, I don't even have to go through numbers here. Like I, The numbers would tell you that this line should actually be uh, around two, but with no real home field advantage anywhere in the NFL, uh, the 49ers are playing significantly better. There is no reason to bet on the Seahawks at this point in the season. There's just not. So I, I will ride with the 49ers as a, a road favorite and expect Jimmy G to continue doing what he's been doing. He looks like a significantly improved quarterback. Yep, 49ers, one of the hottest teams in the country. They are rolling along. That defense looks woo, good. And you know who looks real shitty? That's the Hulk's offense. <laughs> and I just think they're going to go in Seattle, and they're going to eat them. I, I agree. I agree. Uh, you look at I this. think Pete Carroll might be done after this year. I don't think they're going to fire him, but I do think he quit. Hey, it's entirely possible. It's, it's entirely I think, possible. I think he has lost. I don't know if he's lost the team, but but they aren't. They, I, and I, think, I don't think this is on Pete. It's on who's ever putting these rosters together. They have a collection of fantasy stars at skill positions, and that's it. They've got a re, two good receivers and a really good quarterback, and nothing else. Nothing else. I mean, they got Jamal Adams on uh, on defense, but, I mean. One defensive player is worthless <laughs> here. You know that. You know, know that. I know. It's it's putrid. Uh, the 49ers rushing attack should be able to have a field day against that Seattle defensive line. Yeah. I just, I, I don't see any way that, that Seattle uh, Now, I do, I do say this. I want, I want, I feel a lot. Now, no matter what, I'm taking the 49ers. I, I feel a whole lot better if Debo plays. Well, of course. Of course. But I, I still think that, you know, Elijah Mitchell, that bunch, I, I still oh, think yeah. they got enough no, guys. No, every, no, they've been amazing. Yeah, I think, I think they're going to be just fine. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.